It is day two of the Richmond International Film Festival of its week-long run, and one of the films featured tells the story of a local crew's adventures on the James River. Antoine Ressa has the story in tonight's A-List. Three boats and one river. We were in canoes. We paddled the whole way, human-powered. Justin Black remembers the experience filming on the James River with Diedrich Teschner and their crew. Having spent so much time on the James, we started to learn more about the history of it and the ecology of the James, and there's just so many stories there to tell. The James River of Central Virginia runs through our backyard. The pair and three other friends set off to tell the story funding the project themselves. We had three boats, uh, two canoes, and a single person kayak. It was totally a labor Absolutely. Of love. We had no idea we were gonna make a feature film out of it. And they did. It was a 13 day expedition in our own backyard. The expedition took them up the James and back down the Richmond, a trip the friends had done before. This time, it would be different. Just gonna have to push on and eat some wet granola. And we were kind of like, what if we did the big trip? We linked all these, you know, smaller trips together and, um, and tried to make a film about it. This is the story of the James River. The results, headwaters down. Winning the 2022 Virginia Environmental Film Contest and now featured in the Richmond International Film Festival. So the concept of our film was to start at the headwaters of the James and go all the way down to where it goes into the Chesapeake Bay. It was an adventure discovering and uncovering the James River. Environmentally, there's so much that the James has been through. As we go down the James, we touch on a lot of those issues. Like pollution and ways the community can be better stewards of the river, crediting local organizations like the James River Association for their work as guardians. The film follows our trip, so it's both an adventure film, but also a documentary about the issues that are on the James. Along their journey, the filmmakers encountered issues of their own. We, we dealt with uh, land use issues, people kicking us off islands on the James River um, pretty aggressively. Uh, we dealt with, uh, we lost our boat once. Uh, the rising waters took it away and down the river and we had to go after it. Coupled with days of rain, they pushed on. But at the end, we had, I think, my favorite campsite on the film where we got to see a beautiful sunset and jump off tall rocks. And, and just, I think that really embodied what it feels like to be out on the James for me. Black recommends that people explore the river with caution and learn from conservation groups. One thing that we kind of want to show people is that you don't need to go across the country or, you know, to the Himalayas to make an interesting film about nature. But there are so many resources in our backyard. The James is a glorious resource. I think our, the biggest message is that is we want people to get out and experience the river because we believe that if people get out and experience this space, it'll give them a purpose and a, and a reason to care about it. There are more than 170 film premieres, 21 bands, special panels and parties, with showings and events at the Bird Theater and other venues around town through Sunday. The James River is featured in the film Headwaters Down, one of the films showing for the Richmond International Film Festival. To get a complete schedule and more information, visit our website, WTVR.com.